we knew that in the human revolution we wanted to have a conspiracy that would go all over the world. So we will have the player traveling a lot. We always talk about trying to build a game that is very immersive, that creates a world that you feel like you're a part of it. And the city hubs provide a lot of exploration possibilities. There's apartments to get into, there's emails to read. It's all about multi-path, multi-solution. Everything that we were to build had to have different paths to get there. It's kind of like you're free to explore and they're, and they're, and they're humongous and uh, they have their own visual flavor, their own populace. Like we spend a lot of energy on designing the, the fashion and the clothing design. So you have a variety of characters in there um, who will give you bits of information here and there about the world, the city, the characters. And some of them will offer you side quests. I need someone to break into his apartment, sneak into DRB territory, and finally go undercover posing as a hitman. Everything in, in the human revolution is, is designed from the ground up. There's something like over 13, 1400 props in the game. One of the visual directions I gave straight from the get-go was clutter, like loads of crap everywhere, like dangling and piled on top of one another. I wanted to have, you know, kind of ads and billboards and stuff moving everywhere. We created over a hundred different brands, selling everything from cars to soda to jewelry. This world feels crafted, it, it, it feels believable. The analogy was to say that on the 20th century, uh, cars were king and on 21st century, augmentations are king. There's a very strong force in the city, Serif Industries, that feels that these augmentations will propel the city to a new birth and a new uh, prosperity. We created a company called Picus Communications that is the global leader in news and entertainment. And we were looking for a place to put Picus, and we thought, well, Montreal, Canada, is one of the, the best places to put it. This is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live from Picus. Picus' um, uh, main uh, uh, broadcaster is uh, Eliza Kassan. She um, delivered the news to the, the four corners of, of the earth. She spent the news, she has an opinion. It is a city that is a two-tiered city. This new initiative to turn the island of Hengshan into this great center of life and a new city. And one of those companies was Taiyong Medical. Having the Taiyong Medical kind of augmentation, it's hip. It's, it's the kind of thing that people should want. You, you feel that you're in a different world.